welcome back to the STEAM Powered Classroom. Now today I have for you a little bit of a treat in history. I'm going to look at two groupings of books that I've put together that look at history from a very unique standpoint. And they're inspired, these selections are inspired by Sarah Albee, who put out two books. We're going to start with this one called Bugged, How Insects Changed History, Swarming with Facts, Killer Bugs, Sieges, Pox, Boxes, Barbarian Invasions, Plagues, Zombie Insects, and more, and I just think right there, I'm hooked. I wanna know all about how bugs changed history. And she does a great job of tracing history and talking about how bugs influenced it. And so, fun way to look at history, and since you're on bugs for your bug kid, if you wanna mix in science with your history, which I like to do quite frequently, you know, pull up, a, pull up this one. This one, National Geographic Kids. Ultimate Bugopedia, the most complete bug reference ever. And that's what it is. It's an encyclopedia of bugs, but look at those pictures. I mean, that's pretty awesome. So if you're looking at Sarah Alvey's book and you come up um, and she's talking about a particular bug, wouldn't that be nice to have this book already sitting right there so you could look it up and learn more, see close-up pictures and learn more information about that particular insect. Um, and then if you want to keep going and put a little bit of humor, I mean, add some humor, go with something called Bug Butts. Uh, by Don Cusick, and uh, okay, so this is a science book, not a history book, but it talks about bug butts and what they do with them. Do they spin webs? Do they make bubbles? Do they? What do they do <laughs> with their bottoms? I mean, I think that's a really hilarious premise of a book, and I would have loved to have seen that author uh, pitch this to an agent and and win him over. Um, but I'm so glad he, I'm so glad he, or she did. Sorry, Don. I'm so glad she did. So that would be a fun addition to your history unit. Has, I mean, you might not think of going to the science section when you're putting get together your history books, but you totally should. And so since we're with the bottom area, that takes us to Sarah Alvey's other book that she released a couple of years ago called Poop Happened, A History of the World from the Bottom Up. And again, okay, the number one book on number two, Chamber Pots. Vermin, moats, diseases, astronaut toilets, icky occupations, nights, and more. And I mean, way, I mean, if I, when I brought this book home, and I have brought this book home many times, my kids, of course, they're going to go for that first. When I put out all the history books and I say, hey, read about this era that we're about to cover, of course they're going to pull this one. Why wouldn't you? Because it's really funny to think about these historical characters that aren't really human to us when we look back and read about them. We have a difficult time humanizing them. Well, there's nothing more humanizing than, you know, how we take care of our poop. So again, very funny way, but she also approaches history in a very straightforward, matter-of-fact way as well. So if I'm going to pull, bring home a book called Poop Happened, of course I'm going to bring home other books to help you explore poop even more because your kids are going to be like, what? Are you kidding me? You're bringing me books on poop? And then they're going to read them. And this is called Flush, the scoop on poop throughout the ages. So kind of the same premise as poop happened, um, how people dealt with waste. But this one's illustrated uh, you know, for younger kids or a quick supplement to go with the other history unit. Um, and if you want to go further, and do you really? Yeah, you do. This one's called What You Never Knew About Tubs, Toilets, and Showers by Patricia Lauber, and she's got several books, actually, one's on um, kitchen, like uh, utensils, using uh, eating utensils, so it's kind of the history of, of objects, but that one could be a, another fun book to add to your stack if you're, if you're using Poop Happened as your framework for your history study. Thank you for staying with me. Uh, here's another selection called How Underwear Got There, A Brief History. Uh, this was by Kathy Shaskin, uh, and this one's called, I mean, there's so many. Are you shocked how many poop books there are out there, nonfiction poop books? I think it's hilarious. This is called Poopendous by Artie Bennett, the inside scoop on every type and use of poop. Now we're going more into the science section again, and this one I pulled right out of the science section on our library shelves. Um, and then we have these two called The Truth About Poop and Gee Whiz, It's All About Pee. And these are both by Susan Goodman. And again, these are from, actually, these are from the health section. So this is dealing more with uh, how we deal with you know, the, the science behind our pee and poop. So 
if you have a great sense of humor and you want to really shock your kids and get them to love you for life and think history is just hilarious, try something like that. Just a little bit something out of the norm and see how it goes. Okay, I hope it all comes out okay. Thanks.